everybody, my name is Vera, I'm a pattern designer and I love creating all my vector patterns in Affinity Designer. Right now I'm in the process of editing my first Affinity course on making repeat patterns and I wanted to share uh, this freebie sample lesson with you on creating a live pattern preview in Affinity Designer. Once this course is released, I will share the link in the description box below. But first, what is a live pattern preview? A live pattern preview allows you to see the results for your pattern adjustments in real time, which is really, really cool. You don't have to wait for the rendering process to finish. You can um, instantly preview changes as you make them. This makes it really incredibly easy to fine tune your design until it is really perfect. And it also eliminates guesswork and, you know, it ensures that your repeat pattern is uh, perfectly aligned every time. I also have a blog post uh, if you would prefer to read about it. Please uh, comment below if you like using this preview tool and also what dimensions or what uh, repeat types you're using the most. And uh, yeah, I guess for now, I will let you enjoy watching this uh, sample lesson. Happy watching! I would like to show you how to create a pattern preview in Affinity Designer on my iPad. You can definitely replicate this whole process on the desktop version. The steps are the same. The process that I'm showing you is applicable both to the newest version 2 of Affinity Designer as well as to the older version 1. Having a template document with your pattern preview will save you a lot of time along the way because next time you would like to create a new pattern, you will simply create a copy of your template, so you won't have to repeat the steps that I'll be showing you in my demonstration. So let's do it! As you can see in my interface, I already have some templates waiting for me, but we will create a new one from scratch so that you can repeat those steps with me on your own device. I have one template for a standard or a full drop uh, repeat pattern, and one template for a half drop repeat pattern. In this tutorial, we will create a standard repeat uh, pattern preview. First, we need to create a new document. You have the option to create a new document in Affinity version 2 on the menu on the left side. So we go ahead and we select New, New Document. I always work in pixels and I recommend that you do the same. I tried working a few times in inches, but my pattern didn't repeat well. Perhaps it was a glitch or a bug that has been kind of fixed in Affinity Designer version 2. And uh, the thing is, I would rather stay on the safe side and work in pixels. I always work on a 4000 pixel square um, artboard. I already created such a preset. If you haven't created such uh, pixels uh, presets yet, you just open any document and then you adjust what you have here. You have to choose your document units and whatever you have, if you had uh, selected for something in centimeters or inches, you gotta change it to pixels. Then you change it to 4000 and 4000 pixels, 300 dpi. I always work with multiple artboards, so make sure that you also have it ticked that you create an artboard with your new document. And then the color format is RGB. That was the general section and under margins and bleed, we don't have anything selected here. We can go ahead and we can create our new 4000 pixel square document by hitting OK. This is our first artboard, which by default is named Artboard 1. We can change its name by going to the Layers panel. So this is uh, the one and only artboard that we have at the moment. Then we go to the three dots menu. We click on the name Artboard 1. And now an option pops out where we can change the name of this artboard. So I would like to change it to my pattern, but you can change it any in any way you want. You can just write pattern or main pattern tile. Okay. And now it's renamed and it also changed here to my pattern. Next, we need to add the background of our pattern with the rectangle tool. So this is where we have the rectangle tool. 
we select the first option, rectangle. And then we just draw one rectangle. We go to the color studio and we change its color to something bright so that we can see better. Next, we make sure that snapping is on, which in Affinity version 2 is in the upper right corner. So now we have snapping on. And then to the move tool. And we have to make sure that this background really snaps into our 4000 pixel square artboard. You will recognize it that it snaps by seeing those guiding lines. And when you're done from one corner to the opposite corner, you will also see here that the width is 4000 pixels and the height is also 4000 pixels. But if you would like to double check that, you can also go to the Transform Studio, which you can find here. And here under Dimensions, you can double check and reconfirm that indeed our background uh, tile has 4000 by 4000 pixels square. So now we have created also a new layer, which is called Rectangle, which will be the background of our pattern. And now comes the most important part of the process. We will be creating a symbol. What is a symbol? A symbol is an intelligent object that can be placed repeatedly in your document. Any changes that we make to that symbol will be reflected across all the copies of that symbol. To set up our symbol, we have to double check that we really have this uh, background layer selected. Next, we head to the Symbols panel. We go to the hamburger menu, three uh, horizontal lines, and we choose Add Symbol from Selection. And now this background uh, tile has been added as a symbol. To make sure that our symbol gets updated, we will need to have synchronization turned on. So this is where we make sure that this is checked. And in this way, we make sure that the synchronization will be on. Okay, so now the most important step is actually complete. Now we have to create an artboard for our pattern preview. So we can close the symbol studio and we will create a preview next to our main pattern tile. We go to the menu here in the upper left corner, the hamburger menu, and here we have an option to create a new artboard. So we click on it and we start drawing our preview. I drew it roughly half as big as our main pattern tile, but I will go now to the Transform Studio to make sure that it really has the right dimensions. So I want it to be a double, which means if I'm using a 4000 pixels uh, canvas for my pattern, the preview has to be 8000 pixels square. So under dimensions, I changed it to 8000 in the width and 8000 in the height. I can also go to my layers. I would like this artboard to be underneath my main pattern. And I would like to also rename it. So I click on this default name, Artboard1. And I rename it to Pattern Preview. Now this is where we have our symbol. We see that it's synchronized because it has this uh, glowing orange line uh, beside it on the left side. You see that? This means that the symbol is working. And now this entire symbol folder, we will make a copy of it and then we will shift it onto our pattern preview. To make a clean copy, let's go to the menu. Three dots. And the first option is duplicate, so create a copy. Now we created a copy, we head to the move tool. And then we shifted to this adjacent uh, artboard. You see it got shifted from this folder here to the pattern preview artboard. And I just wanted to remind you that I, I still have snapping on. So when I was moving it, you see I saw those guiding lines and it helped me to make sure that it's really uh, fitting into this canvas. Okay, so now we have to create one, two, three more copies so that we uh, complete our pattern preview. So we have this uh, symbol selected. We go again to the menu and choose duplicate. 
and then from the move tool we move it to the right side and we see that those guiding lines uh, helped us for those tiles to snap together perfectly. Then we create another copy and we locate it in the lower right corner. And one last copy which we position in the lower left corner. You see the guiding lines, we see them thanks to the snapping option. I can deselect by tapping somewhere outside of the artboards. And now everything is placed perfectly. How to test it out? Let's go to my asset studio. We will select one asset and we will position it on our pattern tile to see if our pattern preview is working. So I go to my asset studio where I have a whole bunch of uh, assets uh, stored and I'm going to select this friendly leopard <laughs> by holding and the, just dropping it on my canvas to double check if my pattern preview is working. Right now, this uh, asset is outside of our symbol. You will recognize it because it doesn't have this orange line beside it. So what we gotta do is we have to take this layer and we have to drop it into our symbol. Ta-da! And this is how we know that everything is working. So whatever changes I will be doing now, it will be reflected because each of those squares that make this bigger square is a copy of this original. So if I resize it or move it, it will all be reflected and you will see it in the pattern preview. Okay, let's remove it because we, after all, we want to save it as our template. So let's clean it up and what we have left is my pattern tile, this one, and my pattern preview tile. And then we go back to our um, live dogs view, to our home page, and we have to make sure that it's saved. You can uh, save your documents either on your device, so directly on the iPad, which I'm going to do, or you can save it to a cloud service such as Dropbox. To save uh, this preview, right now you can see it's uh, labeled as untitled. I can go to the hamburger menu and I can select save as. If this has previously been saved, then I would just choose save every now and then. But since we haven't saved this template before, we select save as. Here we have a chance to rename it. maybe to something like full drop pattern template. And then we hit save. I will save this template on my iPad because I have enough storage and I'm not using Dropbox right now. I have a dedicated folder, Affinity Designer over here. We can also create a new folder, rename it to, for instance, pattern tiles. And then do, we can select move to save uh, our document. So now this document, this template, uh, we renamed it to full drop pattern template. Next time you would like to create a new pattern, all you gotta do is on your iPad, swipe to left. And the very first icon will be a copy icon or a duplicate icon. So if I click on it, I will create a copy. And in this way, my uh, template will become intact. So this is basically how I'm working. I create one template, I do not touch it ever again, and then I just create copies of it. Setting up such a template will really save you a lot of time along the way. Now we have completed all the steps to create and to backup our standard pattern preview. Thank you for watching.